you won't believe how easy it is to install mods in Baldur's Gate 3. Well, I'm going to show you just how to do that. And I got my eye on you because I know what mod you're looking for. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding you, rascal. You download anything you want to. First thing we need to do is download the mod manager. And just a reassurance, it's very easy to mod this. So, the first thing we need to do is head on over here to GitHub. And we are going to download the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager, the latest zip file. As you can see, it is downloading over here. Once it is done, what I like to do is always create a folder for where I'm going to store my mods. So, for example, I'm going to create a new folder on any hard drive that you may have. I'm just call it BG3 mods, right? And I am just going to paste this into here. Then I am using WinRAR. So I can just right click and I can say extract to BD3 mod manager latest. And then I'll have this over here. And so I'm going to run this mod manager. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. But let me show you how easy this is. So we are going to go over here and we're going to get the Baldur's Gate 3 mod fixer. Basically, this is going to help you allow to use mods that were released before the final version of the game was released. So we're going to go to files and we're going to go to manual download and uh, we're going to click on slow download. The next mod we are going to download the, is gold zero weight for me. I am tired of managing an inventory because I'm so rich. <laughs> wow. Imagine complaining about being so wealthy. As you can see, a requirement is going to be the Baldur's Gate 3 mod fixer, which we have just downloaded and we will install them both at the same time. So I'm going to click slow download over here. And uh, one of the things that I also really enjoy is a custom die. So for example, I use, if I come up over here, I use this one over here, the, this is the diamond dice. I think it is, which one is it? If I, I, I use the midnight dice. I really like the look of the midnight dice. It really suits my character. So this one, we are actually going to install manually. So always go down and read the installation. So if it's Vortex, which we are not using Vortex or the manual. So the manual is just going to copy and paste into the data folder. So we're going to go to files and we are going to remember which one that we really like so for me what i really liked was the midnight as you can see i've downloaded it already but i'm good i'm going to download it again because i really liked it and then i'm going to click on slow download remember back here we create a folder so now i'm going to quickly create a new folder over here called mod down loads this is just purely for file management so that you know where everything is and i'll always come over here refresh and i will put them over here so now we're going to start installing the mods and the first one that we want to install is the mod fixer now this is the only one that is a little bit complex because we have to install it by saying open the mods folder and this just simply opens up a mod folder where our mods will be placed inside of the boulders gate 3 so if i quickly control n for a new tab and go over here and find our bg3 mods and we're just going to go to our mod downloads we're going to go to the mod fixer double click on that and we're going to go inside of here and then what we're going to do is we are going to just drag and drop this mod fixer pack inside of here now that is the only one that is complex the rest of them the way we install is we go file import mod and we're going to import gold zero weight and we're going to click on open and there it is now in order to install it we're going to just drag it to the left over here underneath active mods and from here we're going to say save load order and we're going to say export order to game and that's going to let the game know that this needs to load and now if you have multiple mods you can just place them in a specific order of the priority being above it so let's quickly install manually the midnight this this midnight pack so if you open up the folder you'll notice that it says data and it says public and game this is a drag and drop installation and if we wanted to remove it we just remove where it's dragged and drop where we're going to drag and drop this to is into our data folder where the game is installed so to find that, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to Baldur's Gate, which currently has an update apparently. We're going to go to manage and we're going to go to browse local files. And as you can see, here is a data file. So what I'm going to do is come in over here and drag and drop into data. And I should get an option to replace the files because I've already installed it. So I'm going to say replace the files and there's this donation. And it is going to install my midnight looking dice. But since we've installed through Mod Manager over here, we will then be launching it through the icon over here, 
which will be launch game. You might get a few pop-ups that tell you that you've done a few naughty, naughty things with your game, but it's okay. There are some responsibilities that we can leave ignored. That being one of them. Achievements will be disabled when playing with add-ons. Do you want to continue? So that is a risk that you're going to have to acknowledge. Do you want to play without achievements? We're unable to create a walking story. Your add-on setup might be better at the game. I'll continue with the setup. Okay. And so we're loading the game. So I'm going to quickly check my inventory and I'm going to sort by the weight. And if I come all the way down to gold, my gold, as you can see, is zero weight. And that is how I know that that mod is working. It's also important to note that you can disable a mod simply by grabbing it here and then move it to the right of here underneath an active mods. And then you're gonna click save and then you're gonna click export order to game. And there you have disabled certain mods. Just as easy as dragging left and right. It's like Tinder, just swipe left, swipe right. And so that is how quick and easy it is to install mods in Baldur's Gate 3. You simply just download the zip file, file, import mod, here, drag it into the active, save, export to load order, and launch the game through this app. So if that helped you, please leave a like and a subscribe, and we'll definitely be reviewing some mods for this game. All right, peace.